Hi everybody, Danny from GDL Automotive doing another vehicle review. Uh, today we're looking at the Hyundai iX35, this one here beside me, bag needs a wash. Um, we'll do that for free. Um, so yeah, the Hyundai, generally we're big fans of the Hyundai range. Uh, this one is not as good as some of the stuff they have bought out. Uh, they come with a petrol and a diesel option. The petrol is a little underpowered for the weight that it's carrying. Um, and if you're looking at doing any kind of camping, dragging the family to the cricket, any of that sort of carry on, uh, we'd recommend looking at the diesels. The diesels are much better. They are the same engine that came in a Holden Captiva. And admittedly, in our last video, we ragged on the Captiva massively. Uh, what Holden did there is they made a heap of modifications to that engine to make it comply with Australian standards. And it would seem that most of those modifications are what the problems are that are arising with the Captivas. The Hyundai's don't seem to be presenting those same problems, even though it's the exact same engine. Hyundai's just taken it off the crate and put it straight in. Um, Ironically, the Hyundai still complies with Australian standards, so whatever Holden was thinking, who knows. Um, the iX35 does come out in a Highlander model, which is like the luxury version, just more bells and whistles, more options, um, if the budget allows for it. Uh, have a look at them. Uh, if you are looking for something that's a bit more capable of camping, uh, beach work, that sort of stuff, the Santa Fe is probably something better to look at. Um, my experience with driving these is they were a little rigid, it was a bit like driving a chest of drawers. Uh, didn't handle very nicely compared to some of the other Hyundai vehicles that we've driven. Having said that, we are still a fan of it. It's not horrendous, uh, it's just not as good as some of the other stuff Hyundai is bringing out. I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10. That'll do.